Okay, so here I want to show you how to create an alternating trimming design, what we call this multi-element design graph in Excel, okay? All right, so first you open Excel sheet and then it should look something like this. And let's choose here and start putting dates. So maybe we can do this all the way to January 10th. And then let's choose two conditions. How about cookie and chocolate? And then I start putting number. And the other one for the chocolate. Something like this. All right, now I click and drag all the way down. And then I go to insert, line, and then I choose this icon here. Here, we have this graph and I don't need the horizontal line, so I delete that. And then this graph, I'm gonna move just a little bit. And then the legend, I'm going to move it down a little bit. All right. So here um, you see the, you know, this blue one is for cookie and red for chocolate. I want this to be in black. So let me click on this blue one first, right click, and then choose this format data series. Marker option. Click on built in, and I want this to be circle, marker fill. Now, I want this to be white. And then line color, that I want it to be black. And marker line color, I want this to be in black. All right. And then the other one here is for chocolate. I click on this, left, right click, and then choose this format data series. Marker options. I want this to be in triangle. Marker fill. Black. Line color. Black. And marker line color. Black. All right, now as you can see, it's all in black, all right? However, you don't see the data path connected, you know, for these graphs. So I want them to be connected. Now you right click anywhere on the graph and then go to select data. And then here you see this hidden and empty cells. Click on that. And then go to this connect data points with line. And then hit OK. Now hit OK. There. Now all the data paths are connected here. The data points are connected. Right? Now I go to insert text box and put dates. One more time, text box, and frequency. And then I hit this green dot and rotate. And then I move it here. There, now you have the alternate treatment design or multi-element design graph.